Yeah? Let me in. Um, Elmira? Zack, right? Yeah. Where is she? Upstairs. I'm going to take her home. Now slow down. I've been to your place. Shinra's got it staked out. Not anymore. They have bigger things to worry about. But... And I can't leave her with you. Of course you can. Just look at Cloud. I've been taking care of... No, you haven't. Look at the state you've left her in. You didn't even wipe her face, for goodness sake. I'm sorry. Your note had me worried, and now that I'm here, I can see that I was right to be concerned. Huh. I brought a wheelchair for Aerith. But if Cloud's coming too, you'll just have to carry him. Think you can handle that? Yeah, I can do that much. That's Aerith's, uh... Yes, I know. ending. At least, that's what everyone's saying. Midgar is. It would be east of here. That way. I wonder how my mom's doing back there. She seemed fine when I saw her. Maybe a little worried. She's gonna hate me for this. Talk to her as soon as you get home. She'll understand. Really looking forward to that conversation.
sorry we're late. You okay? Yep. Really worked up a sweat. So, how'd recon go? All clear. No nasty surprises and no materia. <laughs> we managed to catch her before she could get as far as the reactor. Which is the whole reason we're here. So hurry it up, or those hooded guys will beat us to it. these creepy hooded guys anyway. They're Shinra's victims. Hmm. Well, they're in good company. I'll give them that. Hmm? How you figure? When Shinra invaded Wutai, it was... pretty bad. They leveled towns, killed thousands. And when the dust settled, they forced some BS truce on us. I thought both sides wanted a ceasefire. <laughs> the old geezers at the top did, yeah. But the rest of us were pissed. They'd been running Wutai into the ground for years. It was the last straw. We were done. Everyone was ready to kick those old farts to the curb. And that's when Colonel Lodbrock's team showed up. Three ex-soldiers ready to join the cause. Who'd you say? Lodbrock! His squad saved Wutai from those senile old fossils. Paved the way forward! They didn't do it alone, though. While the Colonel's crew was rallying the people, their friend Viceroy Saruf agreed to help. Then, bam! Revolution! And that is how the interim government was born. Revolution, huh? Y'all did good. <laughs> but, why the interim? Because, once this war with Shinra's behind us, the whole country's gonna come together and decide what kind of government we want. Which is why we're doing everything we can to make sure the interim ends in independence. Pretty cool, right? Just gonna stand there? Let's get going! There's Mako? Yep. Then it's gotta be hiding some ginormous materia! Woohoo! Oh, I'm gonna be so powerful, it's scary. to appear when the planet is in grave danger. Hojo has sought them for years. Did you see what was inside it? That had to have been the biggest freaking materia ever! Just gotta figure out how to catch that overgrown fish. That guardian of the planet? Whatever. I'm not about to let a materia that beautiful get away. And just so we're clear, it's mine. I called it. Cool. You fish. 
We'll keep moving. Hey! Not cool! This isn't goodbye, sweet weapon. I'll be back for you soon! <laughs> A guardian beast like that wouldn't show up unless Shinra had really pushed the planet to the edge. Meaning, Avalanche was right about the threat they posed all along. We were, weren't we? Yeah. But don't forget, Shinra's not the only problem. Right. Sephiroth is still out there. He is. And talking won't stop him. For now, can't cross till we lower it. Well, this sucks. What? You know this area, don't you? <clears throat> Control room's up there, at the top of the cliff. How do we reach it? Through the mine. Won't be a walk in the park, though. Place has been abandoned for years. <gasps> nah, we're working on it. Just wait a minute. Hey! Cloud! Come on. the Mako got to him. Regardless, he's clearly tired. Cloud could rest here while a couple of us go and lower the bridge, yeah? <laughs> Works for me. When that thing rings, you'll know we're done. And you, don't move till you're good and ready. All right, put on your mining and helmets and follow me. Uh... 
with that thing. But we're gonna have to power it on first. The generator's just across the way. Gotta use that grappling hook. Shouldn't be a problem for you, right? <laughs> Not at all. someone to unlock this thing from the control unit upstairs. Can you? <sighs> if I have to.
to help them. Way ahead of ya. Hey! Over here, bird brain! Pick on some on your own side! Whoa. You good? Oh yeah.
Look at him go! <laughs> Come here! Or not? <clears throat> what the? <laughs> Leave me alone! Hey! <clears throat> Someone has a fan. Ah, uh, no fair! Got enough hangers on already, but fine. <laughs> <sighs> hey, hey, check out its head. Does it remind you of anyone? It's Cloud, only cute. <laughs> that settles it. I hereby dub thee Cloud Junior. <laughs> Hey, we could take that minecart down. Save ourselves a hike. Not the smoothest ride, but it sure is fast. Me and Dine used to. <sighs> Forget it. Let's just lower the bridge and get back to the others. These buttons ought to do it, but which one? Hmm. Now I got this. Ugh. First that, then. Now that the bridge is good to go, let's touch base with the others. Roger. Hello, hello! This is Special Agent Yuffie. Can you read me, Commander Cloud? How you doing? Feeling better? I'm good. We'll pick a cart back down. You three follow the tracks till you hit the bridge into town. Figure we link up there before heading in. You copy? Copy. Oh, and set our route while you're at it, will you? The gentler the ride, the better. Don't want anyone losing their lunch. I'm begging you, Cloud, please. I wouldn't mind some excitement, but what you gonna do? Do you think the others are gonna be okay? These tracks seem about ready to fall apart. I have a feeling they'll hold for a while yet. You do? Of course. I'm standing on them, aren't I? Wait, I've read about this. Cats and dogs can sense all kinds of stuff through their paws. Things our feet could never pick up on. 
Yeah, they're super sensitive. Your pads, right? Except that mine can discern far more than any pet. So, red? No. I didn't even say anything yet.
You okay? I'm seeing stars. Cloud, you're so gonna pay for this. <laughs> Give the man a break. I think it was a memorable experience. Still alive? Miraculously, yeah. Uh, who's this? <laughs> Think of him as a tag along. <laughs> Wait a sec. That is uncanny. I know, right? Meet Cloud Junior. <laughs> Welcome aboard, Junior. Coming? You'll see. Sir Wallace has graced us with his presence. Hmm? Surprised he had the balls to come back, but we're so glad he did. <laughs> <laughs> Quick scheme blow up in your face again? Try to sell out another town, huh? Don't let him talk to you like that. I can take it. Been out of work for ages. Wonder why. Sorry! I'm sorry! I promise I'll do it right next time! How I'm dare you me. show your face here! Get the hell out of here! You sure you're okay with this? Yeah. She a new wife? Well, good for you. Glad someone got their happy ending. Sorry, Tifa. Just ignore him. This place is nothing like it was. Neither are we. Oh. Hey, guys. You mind if I pop in for a minute? There's someone I want to see. Years. And not a day goes by, I don't think when I got hurt back in Nibelheim, they brought me to this clinic. 
The doctor here, Sheeran, he's the one who saved my life. Oh. You're telling me Doc Sheeran's the one who fixed you up? Come on. Do not be deceived. You know the truth. Trust in me. Sephiroth! <laughs> the hell's gotten into you, man. What's going on? Barrett Wallace. Dr. Sheeran. It's... it's been a while. <laughs> Certainly has. <laughs> That's one frightening-looking appendage you got there. But hey, at least you still seem to have your health. Yeah, and you too. Oh, I'm feeling the miles, but the work keeps me trucking. I tell you what, though. Do you remember me? Well, of course I do, Tifa. It hasn't been that long. You heal up all right? I did, yeah. I just wanted to drop by and say thank you. If it wasn't for you, I doubt I'd be standing here today. Don't thank me. Thank Lady Luck and Shinra for that helicopter. I'm sorry, Shinra? I know you might find it hard to believe. But not all the apples in that bunch are rotten. But seriously, you're living proof of the good in people. Don't ever forget that. It'd be a pity to let their kindness go to waste. Yeah. Besides, you need to set a good example for your friends here. Oh, right. Well, I gotcha. Mind helping me out? Need to draw that gentleman's blood. You think you can hold him still for me? <laughs> At first, I thought it was just Mako poisoning. It is until I ran some tests. The results were strange. Strange how? A substance turned up. One I've never seen before. Not sure what to make of it yet, but it did remind me of one I have seen. Your eyes. Soldier, right? X, soldier. It's not a job, son. Once a soldier, always a soldier. Ha. Huh. Spare a drop? No. Yeah. I ask, because I suspect there's soldiers suffering from cellular degradation. Just a theory for now. And one I can't prove, not without a lot more testing. You see many of these guys come through? Yeah, and then some. I do what I can for the injured ones, but leave the rest to stumble onto the saucer. Why would they go there? Shit. <laughs> Don't ask me. I think it's odd, too. Uh, ain't that something? The girl I saved coming back here with Barrett, of all people. I'm sure there's some kind of cosmic significance to that, but hell if I know what it is. <laughs> Promise me you'll take it easy out there. Okay, Tifa? If you get hurt, you know where to find me. Won't charge for my services, but I wouldn't turn down blood, neither. So... Doc mentioned the Gold Saucer, right? As in the amusement park, where every day is a holiday? We're going, right? I mean, we have to... Yuffie, this isn't a vacation. Yeah, yeah. Weird mumbling guys. Got it. Oh, man. This is gonna be so much fun! Tom's got a ropeway that'll take us straight there. It's not far. If we're doing this, let's just do it. Oh. Figured you'd have moved on by now. Glad you're here in any case. I got a situation. See for yourself. We have one of your robed men. 
If you want him back, it will cost you one million gil. Agree to the terms, and we'll take care of the rest. What's this? Beats the hell out of me. Guess some fool got it in her head I was making money off my research. You gonna pay up? Look at this place. Can barely afford bandages, never mind a ransom. <sighs> Only option is to save the man myself. Or hire the right merc to save him for me. Or the right merc's friend, to be more precise. Who better to hunt down a criminal than someone who's got a nose for tracking? One finer than any human could ever possess. Well, I can't argue with you there. That was easy. So where do we start? What you see is what you get. No hidden codes, ciphers, nothing. But hey, you're the detective. Well, I'm glad one of us is enjoying this. Cloud, the letter, if you don't mind. There's a strong scent, but... Cologne, perhaps? How about that? Picked up the trail already. Ah, which reminds me. There's a compound in our rogue friend's sweat that glows when exposed to this light. Just hope it helps some. Kidnapper must not be the sharpest tool in the shed if they think I got money. Y'all seem to have a soft spot for these men. Mind doing one a good turn? Follow me, Cloud. You can actually smell them? My olfactory sense is 7,000 times more sensitive than yours. Bodily secretions are as distinct as any perfume. A single sniff of a person's clothing is enough for me to locate them. Though there are a number of competing smells through which I must sift. Huh. What do I smell like? Hmm. Like a man who's killed his fair share of fields, I suppose. Like, like blood and shit, then. Not literal shit, no. Wouldn't recommend going out there. Their scent seems to lead straight ahead, but... Oh, that's not good. What? Nothing. Let's continue. Oh. Hello there. 
Different scent. He has nothing to do with the kidnapping. Aw, you must be hungry, huh? Sorry, but this is people food. <clears throat> Whoa, easy there. I can spare a bite. See a guy in a black robe come through? Hmm. Now that you mention it, it was his one hooded fella. The chocobo carriage headed toward a cave nearby. Though I am a skilled tracker, I have one terrible weakness. What? My appetite. With this overpowering aroma of meat in the air, I don't think I'll be able to focus on the kidnapper's scent. <laughs> I heard that. Grilled meat is all it takes to throw you off your game? Gotta be close. Time to put the doctor's light to use. Once we found our man, what should we do with his captor? Well, Sharon asked us to rescue his patient. He didn't say anything about how we should deal with the kidnapper. You mean? We'll figure it out later. Understood. Thank you. 
This is the kidnappers' camp. No sign of them. So, do we wait? Help! Some crazy bastard kidnapped us and stuck us in this cave! <sighs> Excuse me? I'm suspicious? Or the robed guy? Who? The smell. Cloud. It's them. Shit. Oh, boo! Aren't you a clever little puppy? Sniffing out the truth. <sighs> okay. Where is he? Think we just tell you? We're not your average criminals, kid. In fact, we're the world's greatest double act. Ellie, the elusive. Bury the brat. <laughs> I wonder what your friends would have paid for you. Guess we'll never know. Do it. If you insist. Now, do me proud. Take the lead. Going in. Go for it. Here I go. Good to go. Take over. If you insist. Let's do this. him up <laughs> what old buddy of yours Barry look the kid's eyes he's a soldier no wonder he wiped the floor with that monster but time ain't on his side even the strongest ones don't stay strong for long sooner or later he'll wind up like all the rest another mumbling hooded freak Sure, you got lots to catch up on. Suck it, losers. Let him go. We got our man. <sighs> Let's take him back to Sheeran. Glad to see our man still alive. And save for a few scrapes, none the worse for the wear. <sighs> Is it true that soldiers' cells degrade? Uh, believe me, 
If I knew, I'd tell you. But Shinra keeps a tight lid on everything soldier-related. Only doctors with access to those secrets are the company's own. I certainly don't qualify. If anyone here was gonna have answers, it'd be you, son. Been feeling under the weather? Not really. The procedure you boys underwent was cutting edge. So much so, I doubt anyone in the company knew what the long-term effects might be. The more information we have, the better. <laughs> so, uh, change your mind about that blood sample? No. <laughs> well, one of these days, I'll win you over. Well, I reckon I'd better get back to work. Blood won't draw itself, and given the sheer number of those robes, collecting samples will take time. Still waiting on a soldier sample, if you catch my drift. Take us all the way to the salsa. Hey, you can't let those assholes talk to you like that. We should go back and beat him up or something. Practically, the whole damn town came out to crap on him. Someone tell me why I'm the only one who's pissed here. <sighs> I told you, I can take it. Think you could at least tell us what it was all about? They were talking like you sold them out for money, but... I know that isn't true. That's not you. So how'd they get it so wrong? Where the hell is it? This about her? About Marlene? place with decent coal. Decent folks, too. Rough around the edges, but big hearts. Salt of the earth. And I sold them all down the river. Took away their future and their hope. We were happy. Covered in soot and porous dirt, but none of that mattered. We had friends and family, and that was enough. Till we learned about the miracle of Mako and all we'd been missing out on. And then we just had to have a taste. <laughs> so now only Dine is opposed. Damn right I am. We can't just abandon the mines. Not after our fathers and grandfathers risked their lives to maintain them. I hear you, Dan. I do. But nobody sees any future in coal. So I ask you, why break our backs working harder and harder when we're taking home less year after year? Mm. <sighs> if I may, sir. Once the reactor is complete, a portion of the revenue will go to the town. Your community will be preserved, or enriched, I should say. Listen, man. This is your chance to give your daughter a better life than what we had. You think I haven't thought about that? Come on. Are we gonna let some city slickers tell us our coal is worthless? We gonna let them tell us we're worthless? It would seem we've reached an impasse. In which case, any further discussion would be a waste of breath. 
So, Mr. Mayor, shall we put it to a vote? ecstatic, convinced it was the dawn of a new era. Then one day, <clears throat> the reactor exploded. Y'all saw the aftermath. waiting. <sighs> Is this really how it's gonna be? I don't want your sympathy or your pity. You can keep all of that nonsense. I did what I did, and I can live with it. Right. We gotta shake this off. We're about to rock up to the funnest place ever! The Gold Saucer! Huh? So turn those frowns upside down! <laughs> what in the hell? Ain't no one but you thinking about how much fun we're gonna have. Right. Wanna have a look? It's coming up over there. <sighs> Glad to see we're all on the same page. <laughs> 